Hey guys, welcome to my channel iCode. I'm Pallav and today we are going to look at something which will help you in learning Git and fixing your Git related problems. This video is going to be really short and we will very quickly look at a tool which I feel perfect for learning Git and solving Git related problems. I know that some of the developers prefer using tools like Source Tree, Xcode Source Control or maybe Android Studio Source Control for that matter and it is totally fine because they provide you a nice GUI for dealing with the Git stuff and it is completely fine. The GUI makes you skip all the git commands. You can directly push, pull, commit and everything. No need of learning any command and it's totally fine. But at times you encounter such scenarios where you are left with no other option than using terminal than writing those commands. You can't fix these issues with those GUIs. You need to get your hands dirty with terminal. Or maybe if you just want to learn git. You want to be through with those commands and want to operate completely with terminal. So for any of these cases, that tool is perfect. Let's have a look. So this is the tool I'm talking about, Git Command Explorer. I came across this tool few days back and I found it really helpful. Also, let me clarify that this is not a sponsored video. This website is not paying me anything. It's just that I found it useful and I thought that it can be helpful for you guys too. That's why I'm sharing it. Now let's see that what it is capable of or how can you use it. All we need to do is just select an option from this list that we want to do. For example, if I want to commit and I do not know the command, I'll just select commit over here and then it will ask me for the further options if relevant. For example, in this case of commit, it asks me that if I want to commit all the staged changes or if I want to commit all the local changes in the tracked files. So let's say if I go for all the stage changes, these are the commands. Now this was an easy one. If I select the command for let's say configure, now configure can have multiple options whether I want to configure my name and email or if I want to configure the default merge tool or anything else. In fact, I searched it on Stack Overflow and I found that configure is one of the most frequently searched questions related to the Git on Stack Overflow. So in that case, if you want to know about configure or what are the commands and if you don't want to go through the Stack Overflow, if you don't want to Google the things, this is a site that should be in your bookmarks. So just come here, select configure and then what do you want to configure? Select the option. So if I want to configure my name and email address, I'll just select it and the commands are here. As simple as that. It will even show a note with some piece of useful information. So this is how you can search for the commands you need. But it is not just about searching the commands. There are many things about Git that you don't already know. For example, you can debug using Git. It will internally perform a binary search and then you can debug the things. Or you can see that which line was committed by which developer. The blame that we say. All of these can be done by the Git command. So let's see if I go here and if I select debug. I'll get number of options and let's say if I go for binary search, you see that there are a number of things that you can do using Git. Similarly, there are so many nested options which we are not aware of. Git is really powerful and this is something through which you can explore it. So if I go for any commands, let's say recover, now it will give me number of options through which I can recover the things I want. Or if I want to rebase, if I want to modify, what do I want to modify? If I want to delete, there are so many things which can be deleted. I can delete a tag, I can delete a remote, I can delete an untracked file or anything. So all of these things are there which we generally do not pay attention to. But Git Command Explorer is something which brings these things up front to us so that we can explore them, so that we can learn the Git, we can realize the power of the Git. And this is how you can use Git Command Explorer very efficiently. So that's pretty much for this short video. I hope that it was useful for you. A new video comes out every weekend so you can consider subscribing to the channel. Let's write better code together. Happy coding and stay safe.